when an individual is called to the yoga of transformation, he comes with all his strengths, weaknesses, developed and latent capacities, and habitual ways of dealing with things, as well as his familial, social, economic, and educational background. These frame the starting point for the individual's yogic practice as he begins to shift to the standpoint of the witness of the nature, he begins to identify issues, patterns, concerns, and obstacles to the practice. Some of these may be physical limitations, nervous disturbances, or emotional or mental blockages. Some may be precon preconceived ideas or emotional relations that shut him off in some way from a wider view and a more powerful action. Eventually, he may come to recognize that in actual fact, there are deep and very specific issues that confront him and hinder his progress. For some, it is vanity or ambition. For others, greed. For still others, sexual pressures. For others, a form of laziness or lack of dedication and concentration. It turns out that these things can be seen as the greatest opportunity for the individual and represent the unique set of circumstances that individual is called to work out as the road to the full realization. The mother notes, quote, the nature of your difficulty indicates the nature of the victory you will gain, the victory you will exemplify in yoga. Thus, if there is a persistent selfishness, it points to a realization of universality as your most prominent achievement in the future. <clears throat> and when selfishness is there, you have also the power to reverse this very difficulty into its opposite, a victory of utter wideness. When you have something to realize, you will have in you just the characteristic which is the contradiction of that something. Face to face with the defect, the difficulty, you say, oh, I am like that, how awful it is. But you ought to see the truth of the situation. Say to yourself, my difficulty shows me clearly what I have ultimately to represent, to reach the absolute negation of it, the quality at the other pole, this is my mission. Even in ordinary life, we have sometimes the experience of contraries. He who is very timid and has no courage in front of circumstances proves capable of bearing the most. To one who has the aspiration for the divine, the difficulty which is always before him is the door by which he will attain God in his own individual manner. It is his particular path towards the divine realization. There is also the fact that if somebody has a hundred difficulties, it means he will have a tremendous realization, provided, of course, there are in him patience and endurance, and he keeps the aspiring flame of Agni burning against those defects. And remember, the grace of the divine is generally proportioned to your difficulties. End quote. Reference. Sri Aurobindo and the Mother, Growing Within the Psychology of Inner Development, Chapter 6, Growth of Consciousness, Difficulties and Pitfalls, pages 116 to 117.